Chote Lal says he can do anything a farmer with two legs can. His leg was amputated eight years ago after an infection led to gangrene. After losing my leg, all I could do was sit at home. I was completely useless. I was so depressed. My children were very worried. They were wondering what happened to their father. For months, he tried using sticks and homemade crutches. Unable to cope with the physical labor of the farm, he went into debt. But a day trip to Jaipur got him back on his feet. It just happened that the world's largest organization for the disabled specializing in artificial limbs was only a few kilometers away. The artificial limb called the Jaipur foot has benefited hundreds of thousands of people. It is known as the prosthetics for the developing world, mainly because it is cheap to make and it only takes a day to be measured and fitted with a new limb. The center uses innovation and cutting-edge science to keep costs low. The leg's exterior, for example, is made of beige plastic irrigation piping melted to fit. The Jaipur foot costs around $40 to manufacture. And according to the charity's founder, despite its low price, it is more culturally attuned to its much more expensive Western counterparts. The Western designs, comparable, costing maybe about $10,000 or so, don't have dorsiflexion, flexion at the angle, ankle, with the result that a person cannot squat, kneel, etc. The foot is heavier than many Western prosthetics, allowing it to work better in mud and rice fields. And its flexibility helps with sitting cross-legged or bowing in prayer. Working became a lot easier after getting the foot. It also gave me a peace of mind. This foot helps me to do all my farm work. The charity gives out the prosthetic limbs for free as most of the recipients can't afford to pay for them. For many like Chote Lal, it's the difference between being able to feed his family and going hungry. Divi Gopalan, Al Jazeera, Jaipur, India.